I never thought I would have to make a video like this. I never thought I would have to type up a message like I have here that I'm going to read to you guys. But here we are. So, I have a short message about what happened yesterday. And some of you probably have seen the news. And I am going to read what I have here to tell you guys. This is my message to you guys, okay? About what happened. So, yesterday, July 13th, 2024, at a rally in Pennsylvania, former President Donald Trump was attempting to give a speech. When gunshots rang out, the Secret Service rushed the stage and by God's divine protection Donald Trump survived a attempt on his life. That my friends is what we call a miracle. I am not here to make a political video. I am here to tell you that violence is never the answer. I never thought in my 26 years of living I would ever see this happen. It was truly something I wish I could unsee. I was here in my room doing my normal activities when I saw what had happened. And as like a majority of you, I was in shock that someone would try to attempt to do what was done yesterday. I am saddened that some of the audience members, including a firefighter, who jumped in front of his family to protect them, lost his life, but he died a hero. We were one step close to losing a presidential candidate. My condolences go out to the guy's family who has passed away. He was a hero, and I will always tell you that violence is not the answer. If you want your opinions known, go in November and vote for who you want. Make your voice heard. That is how you do it in November. Yes, we will disagree, but resorting to violence will solve nothing. We live in a messed up world. We must turn back to God and repent for another chance to make things right. I will, as a Christian, pray for both presidents. And I don't agree always with Trump but I will vote for him and I'm not afraid to say I'm not afraid to say that and I ask you to do the same as well praying for the victims pray for the victim who died a hero but now a wife is without her husband her kids his kids are without a father we must pray to God and ask him to forgive us as a nation. I had this feeling that there is something I had to say as a Christian. I will tell you the truth in the way God wants me to do, do it. So please pray for those I have mentioned. God's hand, hands were with Trump. Even if you disagree with him, pray for him and Joe Biden as well. I hope that what I have said is something that will resonate with all of you. I love all of you. I care for all of you. And I want us to be united together. That is what I have to say about this tragic event that has happened. Violence is never the answer. We must come together and be reunited as a nation. This should make us stronger. We must, as I have said, repent and ask God for another chance to, to make things right. As I said, violence is never going to be the answer. There is no reason for 
what happened yesterday. And just thank you to the Secret Service for doing what they did, taking down the person. It is just, I'm really at a loss for words here. This speech or this message was just something that I thought I needed to say because I feel as a Christian it is my responsibility to say something. I was in shock. I literally was. That is not a joke when I say this. And please, if you disagree with me, that is fine. And if you want your voice heard, then you need to go in November and make it heard. Vote. That is how you do it. You do not resort to violence. It is wrong. It will never be right. I know that there's going to be people who disagree with me on this video. And that is just absolutely fine. But do it peacefully. If you are going to disagree and say what you believe, comment peacefully, please. I don't want to have to block anybody. I love all of you, as I have said here, and I want us to be united, as I have said. I'm very thankful to the Secret Service for doing what they did. They did their job. It's of course under investigation for some things but they did their job they took out the the uh, guy it's a uh, very good thing that's happened I pray for all the people there of course there's two in critical condition the firefighter lost his life we were seconds away from losing a presidential candidate It was pretty serious. I could be coming on here telling you something very different if it wasn't for God's divine protection upon Trump's life. And as I have said and I will continue to say, violence is never the answer. And I will never be for any violence, ever. So, just, I hope that what I have said has made sense to you, and this is something that is not easy to come on and make. This is just something that is very hard in the age that we live in to talk about and uh, I hope that you feel the urgency coming from my voice it is as I said time to turn back to God and repent of our sins it goes for me, and it goes for anybody watching this video. We need to repent and and uh, just uh, plead to God for help, because it says if we do. He will forgive us and heal our land. It is just... I will make my opinion known in November. I'm not afraid to say it. And, uh... That's just how things are. That's just how it is. And 
and uh, I just uh, I know I'm all over the place and I probably probably stumbled a little bit and it's late here so I would normally tell you guys comment like and subscribe if this really touched you please do so I hope that this message is something that will resonate with some of you um, I believe it was uh, something that has come from the heart and not my just want to say something like I said this was a very serious thing if it wasn't for God's divine hand I would be making a very very different video right now one the equivalent more than Chadwick Bozeman more than Kirby Morrow, more than Jason David Frank, I'll, I'll be straight up honest with you. I don't agree with what Joe Biden does. But as a Christian, I have to love him. And I don't always agree with Trump. But as a Christian, I must pray for him and Biden that is my duty as a Christian and I am not gonna back off of it to just you do the same this video I know it was very rambly but before I let you go I will say this God loves each and every one of you he sent his son Jesus to die for all of us and he got up from the grave three days later And he wants to forgive you of your sins. That's what the Bible says. That he is the Son of God that died on the cross for your sins. Was buried for three days. And was raised from the grave. And God loves you that he did that for you. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but will have eternal life. And that is my message to you today. I hope this video has resonated with you, and if it did, consider what I what I said earlier and subscribe, turn on notifications. And I will always tell the truth when something like this happens. So. Just, uh, just be safe, pray, pray for the world, and uh, just ask, seek God for yourself, seek the Bi read the Bible, ask God to help you understand. Just, uh, that's what I need, that's what I have to say, is just pray. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.